You're gonna need your Olympic rings for this workout. So once again, hook your ring at the bottom, put your other carabiner here, number two, and then loop your strap around your bar or your branch, or wherever you are right now doing your workouts. Just like this. We're gonna start out with some reverse flies. So we're gonna want this extended all the way out. So use that bottom loop, hook your carabiner in there, just like that. Nice. Okay, so reverse fly looks something like this. So when we did previous, when we do chest flies, we're gonna, we're, we're, we're collapsing our chest like this. So the opposite of this, we're due for back, we're gonna want to pull those rings apart. So we're gonna step in this direction. We're gonna lean back. Make sure your heels are planted on the floor. I like to keep mine up just a little bit. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna pull our shoulders together while bringing our arms up. Again, always keeping a slight bend in those elbows. Having those wrists align with the movement of the ring. So we may make sure that's good. You don't want to end up like this at the end. You want to be out like this. So here we go. All right, excellent, excellent. Let's do some hanging ring rows. Now for this, we're gonna need a little bit more clearance on the ground, so let's bring these up. So these were at the bottom. Let's bring these up, let's say to, say 22. 22 should give us plenty of clearance. There we go. Same thing here, and make sure they both match. So let's bring this one up to 22 as well. Okay, so. We want to start on the ground. Just kind of put your butt on the ground just like this. You want to lay flat, okay? Get your, get your rings about shoulder width apart and we're going to pull ourselves up off the ground. Just like that. If you find that you are hitting the ground before your arms are always fully extended, then put those up a little bit further to give more clearance. Excellent. Now let's look at some ring pull-ups. Just like normal pull-ups, we're gonna use our rings. We're gonna keep these pretty high. Get as much clearance as we can out of our rings. So whatever works for you, I'm gonna loop mine just about as high as I can go. This is on number four. Same thing on this one. Up to number four. Now these are pretty difficult stuff. Ring pull-ups are difficult, but they're great because you can do and you can assist yourself on them. So here's a ring pull-up. It's a little bit low because my bar's low, but you can get as high as you can, okay? And we want to pull up, just like we're doing a pull-up. Just like this. Lots of variations we can do. We can start handle facing and handle backwards. What's beautiful about these is, if you don't have the strength there yet, just keep your feet playing on the ground, okay? And use them as an assist. So as I pull up, I can push with my feet. A lot easier this way. Just like that. Good stuff. And of course, our trusty bar pull-ups. So a couple different variations on here. We can do standard grip. First of all, this is a, a pull-up with your hands like this. If you have your hands reversed like this, this is a chin up. And if you ever question what it is, if you're doing one of these and you can get your chin over the bar easy, that's a chin up. If you're doing a pull up, it's much harder to get your chin over the bar, okay? So pull up variation one, just stand, stand here, hands a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Again, as we finish everything, we want a nice 45 degree in our arm. We never want them too close or too far out. So 45 degree finish. So look like this. And all the way down, don't, don't flatten out again. You don't want your arms always flat. You want to slightly bent when you rest. And we can do variations of this by switching our hands alternating. One in the pull up, 
One in the chin up. And the other way. And of course, a full chin up. That's workout.